All right guys, so we're gonna go over how to properly do the bench press, more specifically the dumbbell bench press. We find there's a lot of videos on major exercises like deadlift, bench, squat, but there's not too much on the lat pull downs, your shoulder press, your dumbbell bench press. So that's why we're narrowing it in, but we'll cover incline, all that stuff that you guys ask. Be sure to send us your video ideas and we will make them. A lot of people come to this, so let's get into it. So here are the top three mistakes I notice. This is gonna be the first and it's very obvious what's wrong with it. Yo, you did that in the shoulder press video though. Same issue every friggin' time. People grab the 130s, they go, I'm huge, I bench press 300, I'm gonna rip some heavy weight. They do quarter top reps, quarter bottom reps, cut it out, simple. Number two is a very common one that I guarantee affects us all. So with every person there tends to be that their left pec is bigger than their right. You can kind of just figure it out or look in the mirror. The reason for this is your heart. Your heart actually pushes it forward about half an inch to an inch and that's why you see that difference. Also a lot of people tend to have muscular imbalance throughout their body. So when they're doing something like the dumbbell press, even with the bench press you'll notice a lot of people shifting. And that's something you want to avoid. So with bench press, this is a huge issue because people will do too heavy weight once again, a weight they're not comfortable with, and then they'll see this error. You don't want that, and there's very easy ways to fix it. My top number one tip, usually we don't do this with these videos, but I dive into it and just get rid of this right away. If you have this issue, the number one thing you wanna do is do your dumbbell press, start with your weak arm and do this exercise. This will make a big difference in combat that issue from the get-go, especially if you're having this with your barbell bench. Switch to dumbbell and do single arm. Number three, like the shoulder press, there's a lot of overlap here, but it's important, is angles. So a lot of people think you need to press like this. This is very awkward and very hard on your shoulder. You will demolish your shoulder. Further that, a lot of people overextend, they lock this elbow. That's gonna ruin your elbow. So a lot of it is pain on joints. So when you're doing it, you're coming down at a 45 degree angle. You can see my arms are locked, and then I'm gonna explode outward just like a bench press. So you come in from this compressed form with starting with your tries, and you get some of that twist. You don't wanna to do too much. Powerlifters will overdo it to get that extra little bit of strength. But here's the wrong, and here's the right. There's my elbows too bad. That looks painful, man. I do it right. There we go. Much better. Number four, this needs to be included, is setup. This is everything for the dumbbell. So you can see he's very weak here. He has no arch, he's not squeezing his glutes, and his feet are free for all. A lot of this you get the tiptoe, the tapping. You'll see them struggling tapping it out. Versus proper, hit them with it. You can see here he's tight. He's got that arch in his back. His butt is planted, he's squeezing. His quads are controlled and his feet are planted. And this will allow him to have a strong and controlled press even when he's struggling. So here once again, we're just gonna go over the form from start to finish. So as you can see, you're gonna wanna make sure you're nice and tight. He has his feet firmly planted. He has a good center of gravity. They're balanced. They're pressed in there. He's squeezing his butt, making sure he remains tight and he's not tip tapping. Aside from that, you can see his depth is appropriate. He's going right down and he's ensuring to squeeze at the top while squeezing the dumbbells together. This is absolutely everything. So many people make the mistake of not being stable controlled and in that strong pressing position alongside not getting that contraction at the top of the rep. Here are some variations that we find are incredibly helpful. All right, close grip dumbbell press is the king. If a lot of you guys are getting wrist pain on the close grip bench press, switch over to this. It does wonders, makes you work each arm individually, and because of that, you can really work on the issue that we talked about earlier. 
and it is just a wonderful exercise and then you can see Kyle's got that grunt face going down all right next up we got the good old dumbbell fly press this one's really good so this is not a complete fly so you can go nice and heavy here you're basically pushing it down like a close grip and then you're flying out and it's slightly the same but there are differences here because you're still going to try for that fly and that squeeze at the top and you're trying to focus on working that chest and not the tricep a lot of the time exercise can be very similar but a lot of it just comes down to mind muscle connection and how you engage the muscle next up we got the sven press be very careful when doing this if you're clamping two plates together we recommend just using a 10 or a 25 pound plate dumbbell up uh, sorry not dumbbell just play it because this way you're not going to drop anything on your face you're going to focus on clapping your hands together as hard as you can and pushing all the way up to the top maintaining that squeeze breathing and really working on isolating your chest all right now we have once again the single arm dumbbell press once again, do this if you want to work on those muscle imbalances. Try a variety of these exercises to get a great workout in. Okay, so a lot of you asked for an incline version of this video. All I really have to say about that is incline is really the same. Just make sure you're not pressing forward like we said in the shoulder video. Aside from that, it's the same thing. Get tight, watch your range of motion, make sure you're squeezing those arms and exploding. Having a little bit of elbow flare is not the worst thing if you're going for strength. That's really the only other considerations you need in regards to that. So that's why we didn't even touch on that. Oh!